Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Plymouth Parkway. Despite both sides having good spells of possession and crafting together some early shots, it was only until the 36th minute when Gosport finally tested Parks in goal. Basari striding down the left hand channel along with doing numerous step overs saw the winger fire a shot towards the bottom corner with Parks getting down low to make the initial save and the first of the game. Three minutes later Plymouth's crossbar was rattled. Cavanaugh playing in an in swinging corner at the back post allowed for a glance in Danny Hollins to head an effort towards goal but the crossbar stood in the way as the effort skimmed over going out for a goal kick. With four minutes left to play of normal time Burra broke the deadlock. Dan Wooden battling his way past Rose to allow for the striker to steal the ball just 15 yards away from goal, with the striker calmly slotting the ball home to make it 1-0. Three additional minutes were added on, and in the final minute, Plymouth found their equaliser. Against the runner player, ball was spread through into Crago on the left, and taking just two touches, the attacker Chip Stewart from 25 yards out, nestling in the top corner in arguably the goal of the week for the Southern Premier League, and the half-time whistle shortly followed with it being Gosport 1, Plymouth 1. Borough's first attack in the second half came incredibly close to making it too. A corner resulted with a goal scramble with Wooden smashing the ball into Dan and from the rebound Basari had a crack at goal, sending his effort rolling just wide. Another Gosport attack eventually led to an aerial ball finding Dan Wooden at the near post. The goal scorer headed the ball over Pugs, heading towards goal, but Rose somehow did enough to clear it off the line in the nick of time. Man in the match, Parks pulled off another wonder save to deny Harvey Roos close range effort. Yet again finding success in the air allowed for the midfielder to be given a ball, yards in front of goal. Roo directed his effort towards that top corner but Parks managed to just tip it over. With 10 minutes left to play, Gosport continued to fire more shots towards goal with the last coming from Billy Basari. A good run allowed for the striker to drive a low driven shot towards the bottom corner. However, once again, Parks was there to save the day, with his foot taking the effort out for a corner ball. Plymouth had the last chance of the game after Wright cut inside of Jordan and finessed the ball towards Stewart's near post. But the keeper easily had it covered and had to make his first save within the whole of the second half, with the final whistle going Gosport 1, Plymouth Parkway 1. Borough fans would have felt disappointed not to get the full three points, but at the end of the day it's still a massive point considering Plymouth's fine form and I think many Gosport fans would have taken that before the game. We return to league action this Tuesday against Hungerford, but final words from me, up the Borough!